All right, so we've got all of our pieces here. That's the grill, that's our letters in the green and red bag. These are little trimmings for the grill. Got some screws in the bag there. So we're just gonna run through now how we put it together ready for the install. So in this bag here, got a couple of little clips. Mount there, some screws, and got those little shrouding pieces there. So we get those all out and ready. And these pieces here, they just slot in there. You've got these little holes to line up, and they sort of just sit in the, in the little grommets there, the two halves of that. There we go. So obviously just screw into those little holes. That gets the top shroud of our goop. These the clips there, they go into the same little grommets here. Same thing, just screw them in. Got two of those like I mentioned. And the camera mount slots in there quite easily. Same little thing, the little grommets just line up, ready to get our screws in. Just be mindful when doing these screws. I just use a screwdriver, hand tighten. You don't want to go busting it with the drill and shredding these pieces because it'll be a bit annoying to split that and screw it up before you even get started. Okay, so unpacked the letters. So same principle as with the rest of the grill. Line it up on the lugs. Just be careful not to scratch it, didn't it? Line it up on these little lugs. So line it up on the lugs, get it ready. Just go in from the back. Nice and simple. So there we have it, so it's all put together, all the pieces out of the box. A little bit fidgety with the letters, but I just find it's easy to line it up. Pop one screw in first, just to get it to grab. Hold it up like that and just put the others in. Quite simple, still a little bit fidgety. All there ready for install, we'll go and put it on the car now. If you're installing the lights, same thing, just line up the little lugs there. Screw them in. So next we're just going to undo these screws, little plastic screws, remove this fan shroud, get to the grill, so we can remove that. Okay, so now we've got that shroud off, just going to get our socket set just to undo these. And two slots here, and as we can see that they're just bolted in there, pretty simple. And if you look down through into the bottom there, you might be able to just, just see it sort of sitting in a bit of that barcode is one of the little tabs. So it's one of our locator tabs, they all going down the bottom. And that's these guys down the bottom here, slide in there. So you can see that there replicates the top of the OE grill. Getting these ones undone, so we're just using a 8mm socket there. You can use a shifter or something if you want, but I always prefer to use a pepper spanner or a shifter to make sure we don't wreck the bolts or run anything else around it for that matter. Alright, so this little bit sort of goes against the grain. It feels a little bit counterintuitive, but there's actually those little clips just here on the headlight where the grill clips in so you can just gently give it a tug it feels like you're going to break it but you can see down there we've got these little locator clips quite easy just give it a bit of a pull we've done this one that brings you to the last bit which is just those little locator lugs down the bottom which we'll take on so it's just getting a bit dark i've picked the wrong time of day to do this but um yeah these little lugs here what holds the grill in. So once you've got those big ones out near the headlights, unfortunately the only way 
really to do it is to give it a little bit of a tug, be a little bit firm, um, not too forceful because you might break things, but just give, give it a, a slight um, tug as you go until you feel those pop out. I sort of start here near the, the one that's on this corner near the headlight, pull that first and then pull the next, so on and so on, just so you got a bit of continuity and get it out a bit easier. So now what we're going to do is get our Torx screw, undo these ones for our camera assembly and um, camera washer unit. We're going to have to cut these cable ties just to have this loose. Once we've done that, then we'll reassemble it back onto the new grill. So I've just got a couple of Torx screws, I've just got it in the ratchet here. Nasty, this one I couldn't find a good one. Um, but yeah, we've just got these ones to do and do here in this metal basin behind the OE grill. Just under those. And the ones on the camera already. Just ready to disassemble and get these wires out to go into the new grill. Now unfortunately we do have to do a minor cut as a few guys have mentioned on forums etc before. This piece just here. Just a little bit too long for the camera piece that slots in. A little bit too long to fit here, so we do have to just cut a little piece out there to make sure that it lines up with holes and we get the, the OEM fit. Um, I'm using a Ryobi multi tool. I'm just going to cut this little piece here. I'm just going to start with small pieces and trim it until I get it right because I don't want it to look butchered either. Although the camera mounts this post here will fill the hole and it'll look like it's meant to be there um, but yeah we want it to be nice and snug we don't want to have loose holes and flipping pieces of plastic around it so we'll give that a go <coughs> So I didn't film putting the grill back in, but it's pretty self-explanatory. It's um, literally just line up the lugs like the ones that you pulled out on the original grill. So the main thing is try to line up there. We have to line up the little clips here on the headlights. That's what holds it in the tightest. So you clip those in, line up your lugs at the bottom, and then um, replace the shrouding on those plastic screws it all clips back in together holds it all in place and um end result it's fantastic there it is all done um any questions feel free to post below and I'm happy to help out cheers all right unfortunately i um didn't managed to video fully how I did the trim on the camera and then the um, install of the grill. The install itself is self-explanatory, it's just the reverse. Um, just finding those locator tabs pushing into the, into the holes in the bumper bar, so that's quite, quite a simple process. The camera trim, you can see here how I've got it trimmed, it's nice and snug, it fits well and um, it's with the integrity of the grill at all. What I did to actually neaten that up a bit better than with the multi-tool is I actually used a, a hot knife. So I heated the tip of the knife just on the blowtorch. You can use a gas stove or something similar just to get it hot and then you can just sort of run that around there and just, just take out just that bit of plastic. It neats it up quite well too so you don't have to do any sanding or anything like that. Um, same with the camera with mounting it back on the brackets and that on the back of this Raptor grill are virtually identical to that on the OEM grill so it is just a, a screw in and replace uh, piece and you can see everything is all tucked in just the same as it was before. Camera fits well, you can't see the cut. Um, and everything goes well so it's a yeah, nice, um, nice fit. 
the camera works perfectly as it did beforehand. Um, just a couple of little bits and pieces like the, uh, clips and cable ties for the uh, hose and the wire for the camera just to take back into consideration. And I just put some, you might be able to see it through there, just a couple of cable ties just to neaten it up so I didn't have wires hanging loose behind the grill. But uh, the end result is good. Looks good. Works well. Any questions, let me know.